Greetings friends, in this video I will be concluding the series on automatic temperature control system. In the first video of the series, I talked about controlling the system automatically using a fixed reference temperature. So for instance, if the room temperature is greater than the fixed temperature, then it means the room is hot, it then turns on the cooling system automatically. But if the room temperature is less than the fixed temperature, then it means the room is cooled it will turn on the cooling system automatically. The video link for the first series is in the description. Then, in the second video, a new feature was introduced that is allowing the user to choose the fixed temperature which I referred to as the reference temperature. But in this video, I will be adding encryption to the project. How does it work? In this project, the password and the reference temperature value is stored in the temperature internal EEPROM, which we can read and write. The essence of using the internal EEPROM is to retain the password and the reference temperature value even during or after power failure. So let's turn on the system. The first thing you have to do is to enter the pin. After entering the pin correctly, then you can have access to control the load. If you enter the pin wrongly, you can't have access to control the load. The pin is 2468. Okay, as you can see, access granted. Now, currently, the room temperature is 98 and the reference temperature is 37. So, the room temperature is greater than the reference temperature. That is why the fan or the cooling system is on. If I should reduce the room temperature below the reference temperature, the heater is going to come up automatically and switch off the cooling system automatically. So let's do that to see what we're going to get. Okay, this is 36. As you can see, the heater is on while the cooling system, the fan is off. So let's take it up a little bit. Let's see what's going to happen when the room temperature is exactly the reference temperature. As you can see, the heater and the fan are off. So both loads are off because the room temperature is the same as the reference temperature. Martin is going to be turned on. Immediately there is a slight change. If there is an increase, it turns on the fan. If there is a reduction, it turns on the heater automatically. And let's say we want to change the reference temperature to 50. Currently is 37, let's say I want to change it to 50. So all you have to do is to click or is to tap on this button. Once you tap on it, it's going to display enter new temperature. So let's say we want to use a different value. Let's say 50. And after typing the number, you click on hash. That serves as enter. So successful, I have to tell you that the current room temperature value is 50. Now if you watch here, you see that the room temperature is now less than the reference temperature. That is why the heater is on automatically. For the fan to come up, we need to get a temperature that is greater than the room temperature. That is 50. Currently, the room temperature is 50. As you can see, boots loads are off. But immediately, there is a slight increase. Let's say 51. It's going to turn on the cooling system automatically. Before I conclude this video, I would like to talk about the application of this project. This project can be used in automation, the home automation, office automation, or any other area. So if you like to control AC load, I would recommend this board. With this board, you can control up to 8 AC load and it can hold up to 2 amps. If you're going to be connecting a load that consumes more than 2 amps, I am recommending this component. This component can hold up to 40 amps. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or you find anything confusing, please let me know in the comment section.